Hello, I wanted to share something that happened today. Today I had a class with a little girl from Wuhan, China, and she is maybe 12 or 13 years old, and she has pretty good English skills, so we're able to carry on a decent conversation. And Wuhan has now been released from their mandatory quarantine. And I said, have you gone out? And she says, no, I, I still haven't gone out yet. And this little girl is um, one of four children, which is very, very unusual in China. Usually if there are more than two, it's unusual. So I think her family is a little bit unique and she's the oldest. And she has, I think, twin brothers and then a little sister. And they range in age from maybe seven to five. And she said that they cry, they want to go out. And I said, why haven't you gone out yet? And she said, um, my father says it's not safe for us. And she's been home for 12 weeks. And I know that in Hong Kong today and Singapore, I saw that they're having a second wave of infections and the doctors have said that the second wave is even worse than the initial infection rate that they had because Singapore and Hong Kong both took action immediately so I think that their rates weren't quite as high. But my quarantine is very very easy. I live in North Carolina. We're not heavily infected here. I live in a rural town. So for us, it's this thing far away that we're watching on the news. And I know that lots of people around the world are really suffering. And people in New York, I saw the governor say that in 9-11, they lost almost 3,000 people. And with the corona, they have lost almost 8,000 people. So the numbers are really startling. But for those of us who are in these smaller places, I think maybe it's easy for us to, to not see what's going on. I don't know anybody who's sick. I'm not sick. Thank God, thank God, thank God. But I think it's important that those of us who aren't necessarily directly affected by the sickness, but are affected with staying at home, eating the same food, looking at the same people, being bored. Um, I think we need to be vigilant and we need to stay at home for ourselves and for our community. So when I start getting a little bit itchy in my feet and a little bit restless, I remind myself of that. All right, a happy day.